Today we're going to talk about embedding outside images, such as company pictures or just banners to make your emails look the way you'd like them to. This is a bit more complicated. One, because email servers, Yahoo, Gmail, are all different with different rules, as well as how you view them, whether or not you're logging in on a desktop or a particular application, or sometimes even a phone when viewing an email. Because of that reason, the normal copy and paste of just a general image is not going to work. For some people, you may test a message that you've copy and pasted a, let me do it real quick, copy and paste an image inside, and it does not mean that when you send this out that this would be a viewable image. I have colleagues that cannot see this when they get this email message. They actually see just a wall of code, which of course nobody wants to send out to their clients. Personally, when I view mine on my particular iPhone, I will often be able to see these images. But if I log into my Gmail account on my computer, again, I would get a wall of code unless I download the message. The only way to get around that is to, again, like your logo, and if you haven't watched that video, please do so, is to have a resulting URL with a direct link for that image. The only free and good way we know of one to suggest to you would be to create a free imager account. And that, of course, is imgur.com. And it is free. You can sign up. You can certainly share these images and with the login with the rest of your staff. But you also have to be very cognizant of the fact that the images that you post here are public and would be able to be viewed. So for that matter, we stay away from actual client information unless it's a tester file. But you can see here that I have a small screenshot of just kind of what looks like when downloading a particular mailer's client export result. You can see that once you actually get into your imager file, once you click on your images, that you would have a direct link. I'm going to copy that now come back to my message. And again, you have a few options when adding images. We have the trusty template, which has this little guy that you always want to remember if you have previously typed information or don't want to lose a thread of information from the previous message. And of course, you also have with the newest update, the image icon. So if I click this, it's going to open the image properties and the spot where it wants me to place my URL. When I do this with the direct link and hit OK, you can see that that image immediately pops inside. When I double click it again, you can see the preview as well as the direct width and height resulting from the image that I had uploaded to Imager previously. I can hit OK. And then, of course, send this out. And no matter what the client happens to be reading it on, what device or what type of email, they should be able to then see this outside image. Thank you for watching. Let us know if you have questions.